So, uh, did you know your grandfather? Yes, I knew my grandfather. I spent my childhood in India, in South India, in Bangalore. And my grandfather was living in that very same city, um, in a quartier named Maleshwaram. And we went to visit him very often. Did you know his work and understand his importance? I knew his work. Now, interestingly, as a child, uh, first of all, you are more interested in the human person. But uh, later on, uh, it was interesting because we started discussing this or that, and he was very keen to get us involved in library, in the thoughts of a library, in uh, also the philosophy behind it, because he always interconnected it with uh, Indian philosophy. And, uh, well, then after his death, naturally, uh, sort of, um, when, when I studied myself, I got to know the relevance of, of what he did uh, by other people, not by him. In his, in his work, what stood out to you as a child? What did you take from it? Uh, to me, the, the interesting thing was clarity, perhaps. As a, he was very clear in, in, uh, in a way how to look at the world, how to structure the world. Um, uh, his sort of uh, vision of progress, which uh, he, he saw a spiral, was something which was very, um, uh, very clear. And uh, if we are speaking of information here, I remember my grandfather explaining me the South Indian principle of the sutra, which means condensing uh, information to very little. Uh, if you read uh, old Indian texts you will find a few words having a very deep meaning so uh, this sort of reducing the fact that he had clarity and open mind it was perhaps the the third thing imagine a sort of a south indian brahmin uh, dressed in cotton but speaking about very modern things in those days the the facets that he proposed uh, at least one of them is considered by many to be uh, it's the clarity remark that I'm interested in here at the yeah. moment. It's considered to be a fairly mystical uh, uh, quality and difficult mm -hmm. to... Uh, Sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I, I, the fact that um, one of the qualities you most associate with, with what he taught you was clarity, I find very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, he always linked uh, knowledge to a deeper meaning. So, And this is uh, sort of a South Indian way to look at the world. Uh, a Brahmin South Indian way to look at the world, to be very precise. And um, I think so there, he, um, you, you can sense a bit of this flavor which was there. Uh, the other thing which was difficult is that, um, again, in his classification scheme, things tend to be very complicated. So clarity on one side, um, goes hand in hand with, with a very complicated way how to um, match um, um, sort of this or that um, book or contents within his world. And funnily enough, he even used this sort of classification system when he wrote letters, which was quite strange. So uh, even my father or uh, family members, uh, they, they were classified in a certain way. <laughs> And the letter would, would vary based upon their classification? Yes, and it was very uh, rational. Sometimes too rational, uh, where uh, I believe, well, a bit more emotion in a certain non-South Indian rational mathematical way would have been good, at least for my father. Have you found the facet view of life has stuck with you? Um, yes. It stuck. It, it was interesting because, to me, um, the way of looking at life uh, with facets was very, was very easy. Because um, my mother was from Luxembourg, my father uh, from India, so I I was confronted in South India already with a view of which was not the only reality. There was always the the Western view and the Indian view. So um, facets are always a question of well, you look through this. Uh, view through that view and uh, there is nothing like absolute truth uh, but it's always a way of perspective thank you so much okay thank you <laughs>